Bye. All right, back with you, Steve Martin. We paid our five shekel entry fee. Three of us. I did like. I did a big move. And we are going to see the synagogue here at Capernaum. Very possibly where Jesus would have gone. You can see the very foot foundation. We'll see that once we get there. And that could be the synagogue around that time period or shortly after. Here's some of the beautiful stonework that they've gathered here and around the area. There's some of them. You'll be able to see menorahs. There is a Star of David. Another one. So we know that centuries ago this was inhabited by Jews. Jesus himself, Yeshua, was a Jew. And history proves it, if there's any doubt whatsoever. Let's go over to the synagogue. A lot of tourists here today, as you saw with the many buses out front. If you're looking at my Facebook photos, if not, trust me. Here, where it describes foundation stones, the white synagogue you can see are the more oblong uh, rectangle. And below are the black stones built upon the remains of the synagogue during the time of Yeshua. This is one of the largest synagogues in Israel. And here is the synagogue. The seating on all sides. <laughs> I've been to a few synagogues in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I live. Not quite like this. But as I said, this was a large one. A lot of languages. This area over here was probably homes which the town people lived in, of course. Synagogue is surrounded by it. I don't know the exact population of Capernaum at the time of Jesus. But it was a fairly good sized town. We are on the northern side of the Sea of Galilee, or the Canaret, as it is known in Hebrew. We're thankful that the 30-year drought has ended with the abundance of rainfall received this past winter, both in the form of snow upon Mount Hermon and the rainfall. Yeah. Yeah. It was 
più una cosa del genere. Per lei era normale questo. Alright, let's walk out the front entrance. Across the other parts of the town is Catholic Church, St. Peter's. And it's believed to be underneath there the home of Peter, Peter's mother-in-law. Which if you were raised Catholic as I was, you wouldn't understand that Peter had a mother-in-law. Unless of course you believed he was married. Contrary to park popular Pope belief. That the Popes were not married. It's easier. And I have limestone and puzzle together. It's very elegant. Come here. Okay. She knows her stuff. <laughs> Miss Laura. Miss Laura. Hi, have you seen her? <laughs> no. She was heading that way. All right. I'm going to head this way. Let us read the slat here. The synagogue of Capernaum. Capernaum. Private houses buried under the artificial podium of the monumental synagogue. Remains of a synagogue predating the monumental synagogue. Areas excavated by the Franciscan archaeologists Corbo and Lofreda. 1969 to 1981. There it is. There it is. Black stone. It's from lava. Centurion. Centurion? Maybe that was a centurion that Jesus healed his daughter. Could be. There's a Sea of Galilee on off to the distance. I'm going to end this shortly here. Hope you enjoyed your visit to Capernaum. Shalom.